Do you think Tim Sweeney has an Epic Games tramp stamp? Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Old Man Vin in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, sitting in that studio, driving the choo-choo train of nightmares, joined every week by Jordan Swag, up in Canada land, and of course, Peter Matthias, filled with steak, <laughs> you know him, you love him, <laughs> and together with you, Shat Realm Dynamic, helping us form co Kane, Voltron, get that right, AI, two canes. Nothing to do with drugs. Even Aside from now, the painkillers, he's got to take because he's an old man. Yeah, it's those knees, man. He's got those cocaine knees. That's why he's got the canes, <laughs> goddamn. That, that, that's, that's why he's on the fentanyl. <laughs> Not on the fence, man. I, do, do, do you mean on the fence? Like, nah, homie. <laughs> no, no, I'm on the fence. You got, y- y'all have any za? <laughs> What's up? What's new? Uh, we do have quite the show to talk about tonight because we uh, well, there's only one seal left in the perpetual early access games. There's been an update. Pedro got me to play an MMO. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Olympic esports. Worth... Stay tuned for that nonsense. And I'm going to tell you my experiences running those buggy, evil NVIDIA drivers. And we got a little bit of hate mail from a longtime listener. That should be good times. What's going on, Jordan? Uh, you were posting pictures of... Uh, what was it called? Svench. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, because like the, the poor literacy is really, is really, really cool. So I went into a, a sport check because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna be out and about tomorrow, and I need to get my workout in. And I'm like, I don't remember what the combination to my lock is, so I just want to go and buy a lock for my lock, so I can not have all my shit stolen. So I, I, I walk into the, I walk into the sport check, and I'm like. This is where you would buy gym equipment like lockers, right? Or like locks, right? They don't have them. But on the way out, I see this fucking picture of, of Kvent. Quench? <laughs> Svench. <laughs> it's spelled like my last name, but it's like, you'll Svench your thirst. And it's like, you know, if there's a fire, I'm going to Svench it with my powerful stream. Yes. <laughs> I, I, <sighs> I'm trying to find the picture, man. I know it's in here somewhere. I did post it like oh in the there afternoon. it is there it okay is. yes as a as an aside to that we were talking about this in the pre pre super shows under it uh here's what Jordan posted Svench. Svench. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah we have two versions of the uh, the drink bottles we have the classic YouTuber drink bottle then we got the sports bottle then we have uh I, I guess like pre packaged the and then the box. Yeah, yeah. When, when they're like the little like pixie sticks of yeah, like yeah. The, the drink mix and that then they have like packages the hubs. all the way down, then they just got like the big old um jars of Svench. Yeah. And I'm in here getting everything set up and Jordan posts this in our super secret Discord and I'm like, leave it alone. I'm not Googling <laughs> that. I ended up Googling it, but I resisted <laughs> for about eighteen minutes and I'm like, all right, fine. The it cur- does. curiosity got the better of yeah, you. It did, it did. It ended up having electrolytes and I'm like that's what I thought it was gonna be. All right, uh, wide body Mateus. What's up, man? <laughs> He's so wide. He's thick. Ba- ba- barely fits in frame. Dude. <laughs> hey, uh, I did go for steak with uh, Dancing Joe. Uh, thank you very much, Joe. That was actually a very good steak. Uh, <laughs> how, how, and, how do you uh, eat your steak? Uh, hmm? Like, hmm? With, with how, 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 He's an animal. You know, you, know, you know, when you order your steak, they're like, how, how do you want it cooked? How do you order your steak? Rare. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it, it was genuinely a really good steak, and um, uh, Joe asked one of the people, uh, so, can you take a, uh, take a picture of us? And um, I was in the edge of the picture, Joe was right Fuck in the middle. Fuck you all, I just uh, got a level one hype train on my look at that shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, choo-choo! You are the yeah, lovely no, That angle now. made me look a little thicker <laughs> with multiple C's than it I like actually it was, am. It would genuinely take a minute to get across you, dude. I, yeah, it was, <laughs> It was a, it was a very rare Pedro angle for sure. Like, I swear I'm not that thick well, yet. Well, it's, it's, it's like we we normally see you from like the other side too. So it's just like that's yeah, what yeah, he looks Jor- like. Jordan had this. I our brains work. He's like, huh? That, that, that's what he looks like from yeah, that side. Okay, bigger, yeah. bigger than advertised. All right, just yeah. <laughs> Blame the fish eye lens on the phone. <laughs> Blame those Tesco cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> man. I didn't have anything uh, terribly fun. I just want to pour one out for our local Beachwood cinema. I was going to go see Deadpool Monday, just trying to dodge spoilers. And I'm like, fine, I'm the person who's like, you know what, Tuesday, 11 a.m., let's go do a movie. 
and I went to check the time on Friday, and I'm like, where'd it go? This is in, uh, if, in all fairness, the last time I went to saw a movie was the second new Star Wars. It's been a minute. I, I go to like the Athens summer, and like, I oh, know they just closed on Thursday. Was, was there an, no, they just closed, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I got to drive all the I'm not. I'm not going to see Deadpool in theater. I, don't, I, I want to see Deadpool bad enough, but not enough to drive across town to go see a damn movie. Get off my lawn. The horse would. The horse would get in his, like, fucking Cybertruck and just, like, smash through the theater wall, like, midway through the film. But that's just how he rules. Because it's the steam! Demos! You know them, you love them. They help developers not have the refund policy on Steam be abused by letting people Sounds try good. out the games yeah. before, uh, that's before why they we've get played. All, that's why we all just demos have been around forever and we constantly have never had a shortage of them. No, ab- ab- absolutely not. People are making demos constantly, nonstop. You can't, it, it, like they're, hey bro, they're sleeping and they're bro. just coding demos. Bro, you, you, you want to check out my demo? I, I, I already did. Oh, okay. You, you, you asked me last <laughs> week. Um, but yeah, so uh, demos are getting some changes on Steam, mostly in terms of organization. So before, demos would take up the same slot as the game proper, and if you bought the game, it would replace it. Now, uh, the demo has a distinct listing from the game proper. Um, they get their own dedicated store pages and reviews, which is really good because it stops people from like front-loading all the good shit in the demo, and then when you get to the game proper, um, you you know, the, the, the non-demo portions of the game are a lot less developed, there's a very clear way to say like, oh yeah, the demo is great, don't play the rest of the game. So that's all good. Um, you can also add demos to your library without installing them, which is nice because, you know, when you have the Steam Next Fest and you have a limited amount of space on your drive, you might want to mark a couple of demos you want to try and you don't want to necessarily install them all at the same time. Uh, they do get uh, removed from your library automatically on uninstall. I think these are, these are, good, uh, these are good enhancements for demos overall. They're not huge, but it makes it easier to track what's going on in demos. It makes it easier to find demos um, and find. Yeah, that's basically it. No, it is. Um, it hopefully uh, because that's one of the things I've noticed is uh, developers are they're not really keen on keeping the demo up to date and representative of the current state that the game is in. So maybe uh, giving them this option or forcing them to uh, <laughs> uh, have accountability on the demo that they have for the game that they're trying to sell to people probably a good idea that might get them to actually update the demo more often and yeah like jordan mentioned letting people just add demos from their phone while they're out and about and then they come home it's like okay let's install it let's uh let's try out the game that's a very good idea that's a genuinely good idea that should have been right there from the start but uh you know better late than never i want to believe because, you know, Valve is a very unique company in the fact that it can have long-term plans. I want to believe this is the work of just one person at Valve. I've been at Valve for a long time. Always was a huge fan of demos. Has been missing the demos, man. Because how, well, we talked over the last, like, 12, 13, 14 years, like, it'd be neat to have a demo of this to play around with it. This person's like, all right, we're going to bring it back. We are. They've been working on it this whole time. They're the ones, like, spearheaded next fest. And like, all right, let's get them doing the demos. All right, let's get our demo update because you know you've always been able to do it not always but in recent memory been able to do a demo on steam and wasn't too big but had all these problems with it this is going to fix it right up why do you want to make a demo all right if you're game dev it's a really really low cost way to get people to smash that wish list button and also not to smash that refund button once they play mm-hmm. your game and go eh. this was not what i expected because now yeah. you can actually try before <laughs> you buy it right you know, definitely. One thing I am glad that they pushed this out because I didn't know about Steam Demo Hub. This is like a permanent fixture with the popular game demos and stuff. All that, right. That's pretty it, dope because it's like, if, if you're ever like, I want a new game to play, you can right. just go here and... And it works look. like the regular one too, where you can go new and trending, recently released, uh, daily active demo players. If you're looking, you know, there it is. That, that, that's cool as hell. That's pretty dope, Ben. Uh, it, and again, I just want to believe it's one person. If, you, if you're there and you're like, damn it, I've been seen. Good work. But it's probably I think two it's people. two people. Yeah. I, I've seen two people because they do the videos, whatever a new uh, Steam Next Fest comes up. 
There's two Valve it, people in that video doing like Every the, time I see a Valve things. video, it always comes across as the two people who lost. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they drew straws and right. they, they were they're like, like okay, they, they we got to do straws. a public facing video. Those two people just have like, they're like, damn it. I ha- Next time I I'll get to, out of this. I have to imagine there's like a shadow third person who works in the finance department. They're like, bro, we're getting murdered by these game refunds. Do something, please. <laughs> We need to make a jabillion, not one billion, yeah. <laughs> every quarter. Right? Yeah. How else are we going to make the Steam Deck 2? Deck harder. <laughs> That's our Steam update for this week. Let's talk about not one, but two new games. And the first one, I'm sure, has caught the attention of Pedro and myself. Yeah, yes. Uh, I rem- I, first of all, I'd completely forgotten about this game because... We talked about it. <laughs> We'd already talked about it a couple of times. Uh, it wasn't early access for a while. Uh, and I, if it didn't have a demo, it had some kind of playable build that was just like the woodsy track, that one, uh, that you could play it. And I remember trying it and going, oh shit, this is not fun. Now, don't get me wrong. Exocross is it's one of those futuristic um racing type games where the cars are so very powerful that the tires don't seem to be doing much of anything at all <laughs> that or the planet has really low gravity because whenever you um get your wheels off the ground they take a long time to come back down i got an idea uh, i got an idea we're gonna come up with an entire genre for this we're gonna call it mm, what's good how about arcade racing as a nice <laughs> ring to it? there's uh, see there's arcade racing and then there's Whatever the hell this is, because uh, I'd say like the early Need for Speed games were arcade racers, Revolt, uh, the RC. Trackmania. Trackmania, yeah. People will argue whether or not Trackmania is arcade racing. Uh, yeah, it is. It, it, that's not. Could, could you imagine? <laughs> a I mean, you could try and play it on a cabinet? sim rig, like a proper sim rig. Absolutely. Uh, but you should really join us on Tuesdays, <laughs> Fridays, <laughs> because Turbo does. He does. Well, so shut set your up whore a, mouth. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Fair, fair, fair enough. All right. Well, turns out I can eat shit. And he kicks our ass. Fair well, enough. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's, he's playing stick, right? <laughs> That's the thing. He's not uh, on keyboard and like a scrub. I, I don't hear the track mania cars changing gears. I think it's just like one big continuous uh, gearbox. But yeah, no. Um, you don't hear, I remember how do you playing, play track media without listening to the. I'm sorry, this is going to side jack here, but I play a lot of track media. That like that's how we, like you you have to keep track of your gears, man. You do. You absolutely do. <laughs> Apparently, you need to start playing track media on Tuesdays and Fridays, buddy. Everyone, hey, if you're a new Twitch sub or a patron, come join us. Uh, there's an entire page over at Linux Gamecast. Link it up to Discord. Everything's in track mania. So we'd love to have you. Everybody's invited. But <laughs> back to Exocross. I think what you're getting at is this is from a company that traditionally iRacing makes very not arcade racing games. Mm-hmm. Very and simulation. I think a lot of people walked into this expecting a very not arcade racing game, not this hybrid arcade, but it's still got soft body tire models and stuff like that. So they weren't very happy with it. That's why it's got a mixed score right now and i'm like you know what i'll try out a mix holy hell this thing's 40 bucks <laughs> what <laughs> console <did>. price parody <laughs> what it's a very spicy price tag for apparently what like four tracks or something you, no no how dare you it might only be four tracks but they move shit around on those four tracks 18 different times ah procedurally mm-hmm. generated tracks I, okay. I wouldn't say procedurally ah. generated somebody manually flip the corners around but yes um, oh 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 okay all right so it's, it's just control c control v at least it has online pvp though and a linux client on top of that but yeah mm-hmm. uh the natives are this is one of those confusing games uh, what was the uh racing games that we got from peril um f1 or rally rally, rally. f1 grip uh, Might have been grip. grip it, one grip, of those grip, games. Auto it wasn't grip. It, it was auto uh, squirt. Auto. I think yes, that was the one yeah, because yes, that yes, was yes, the yes. one where it was just a little too arcadey for the masses, and they're like, "This is horrible." It's going to, you know, this is Dark Souls three type stuff, right? It's the Dark Souls of racing and games. You need, to, yeah. You, yeah. you need to roll your car in order to get past the finish line. I mean, let's be fair. In this game, you can probably dodge roll. 
Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, yeah. No, you can because uh, your cars, they cut away in the trailer. You can see one of the uh, cars that's in front of the one with the camera that's in the air for a very long time and they cut right in the middle of that shot. <laughs> it's like, uh huh. Someone's thought, a little I, aware of what's happening. I, yeah, I, thought, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say <laughs> they cut off in the trailer where a car turns a corner and there's like Ornstein in smoke and he has to like dodge out of the way. <laughs> race the sun baby uh yeah speaking of shit like needs a demo you asking 40 bucks for that like mm -mm. yeah there was a demo of that where did it go (laughs) away (laughs) (laughs) um yeah exo crossed off Uh, what are you thinking about on this but like 20 bucks maybe 1989 maybe yeah 20 bucks yeah that that would be totally doable you look at that it's like that looks pretty good for 20 bucks Mm -hmm. 40 bucks and you start going I, I, yeah. I think probably the absolute highest they could realistically go is 30. 30 would be 30, and then it goes on sale for like 15. Um, coming as like, you know, just a casual who like had to like look up like iRacing, and I'm like, I get what you're known for. Like, you, you guys are like hyper niche, and I'm sure they're very accustomed being, for being able to charge a premium for their product because like you're catering to a very small part of the market, and you run into that with a lot of sim stuff. This is outside of that comfort zone to where that bullshit pricing don't fly. Because, like, coming at it from, like, arcade, I can get a lot better arcade racing for 40 bucks than this shit with your four tracks and 18 different configurations. Like, you can probably get it for free. Play the old uh, Power Slide game. I genuinely like that game, and it, 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 it plays along with the same physics of not having a lot of grip and doing a lot of drifting and whatnot. That was a genuinely fun racing game from the 90s. Go mm. play Power Slide. Coming up next, hollowed. And I'm just kidding. Uh, survivors. Yeah, it's the. Wouldn't you be so pissed off? It was like Hollow Knight survivors. And like, <laughs> we oh, if that's it. So, oh, yeah, dude. If they, oh, I'd be so mad. Yeah, you, you, you're just like, fuck it. I quit. I give up. Um, no. Oh, new Hollow yeah, Knight. So, go. I can't, no, I'm just going through this in my head. Like Google News feed. New Team Cherry releases Hollow Knight. <gasps> yeah, I, I, I punch <laughs> the monitor. <laughs> yeah, welcome to your new nightmare. Uh, but yeah, survivors games, it's here to stay as a genre. What are they? Well, you walk around and things die around you. And sometimes you get new ways to kill things around you. Uh, and there's a new one at hollow survivors prologue. It is a prologue to the game proper. You might call this a demo, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. some sort some sort of cra- gratis a vertical demonstration. slice. I couldn't tell you. Um, but, but anyways, um, Survivors like mechanisms. If you played one, you've probably played them all because they all operate in a very, very same man- manner. And I think for, for me now, it's like it's an established genre. And now there's like Pathfinder Survivors, there's Vampire Survivors, with, which was the OG. Now there's Hollow Survivors. If you have a game with ho- Survivors in the name, it better be one of these, or people are gonna get mad. I wanted to make my David Hasselhoff game True Survivors. And it has nothing to do with this. It's about eating cheeseburgers off the floor, but I will get panned in the reviews because it's not a fucking avoid up. This is new, gentlemen. Um, you got an Xbox controller? You're good. You got a dual Spock or a dual Sense? USB only. I've been, I've been seeing that a lot more. The fuck uh, does that mean? Uh, I, I guess there's no Bluetooth. Yeah. Uh, How? Bluetooth. Uh, it's a Unity maps game. The... <laughs> The input codes for the buttons are different if it's going over USB versus if it's going over Bluetooth. Okay, no, I, but, I, but also Steam input, right? Like it should account yes. for that. No? I get uh, Danny it, Deer it is the you know, this is a one person game. It looks all right. It looks great, but I mean, it's a very uh, hipster pixely, well done hipster pixely version of that game. You know, uh, but yeah, it worked with my Xbox controller. I'm not a problem with it. Completely free. Give it a download. Uh, fair warning: you will need um, 200 megs free space for your 98 meg download. <laughs> oh. Compression, uh, good compression. But uh, no, uh, there are still a lot of hopefuls trying to capture the lightning storm in the shot glass that was Vampire Survivors. This one, uh, considering how much more involved you have to be with the controls i'd say it would be close i've never to... played vampire survivors what are your movesets because i did play this for a little bit and I, I fucked around with it you got like your slash you got a magic shot then you get a dash yes that's uh three more uh than uh vampire, vampire survivors. survivors vampire survivors is just movement mm. you just move your character the attacks happen automatically and that's very much a part of how you have to juggle the updates 
or the, the and, upgrades. You know, I've watched <laughs> people play Vampire Survivors. You know, I didn't feel like I was sitting in front of a slot machine when I was playing this, so it's got mm-hmm. that going for it. <laughs> people, people like their numbers. Numbers <laughs> popping up on screen. Oh, numbers yeah, and sparklies, like dude. Big whooshy uh, things whenever you pick up a chest. Yes. Like uh, I remember the first interview I read from the Vampire Survivors guy. He was like, "Yeah, I did uh, slot machines and stuff like that." I was like, "Ah." Got it. That the, that sense. explains why it turned into crack that, as quickly as it did. <laughs> with the animations give, and the confetti. Give, give, and, give, yeah, give people yeah. that feedback they want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make I'm, your Skinner box look pretty. You got to, man. You got to. <laughs> Go try it. It's free. Won't cost you anything. A little download if you're into that genre of uh, game. There it is. Speaking of human flesh, though. Yes. Let's, let's talk about zombies. <laughs> the next to the last seal has been unlocked. It has. Only one remains. Why? Because 1.0 to die is here. After <gasps> 12 years of development, hell. It's Agent 47 and Android 18? What? And the Plague Doctor decided from Breakfast Dungeon? They were going to skip <laughs> Alpha 21 and just put 1.0 on it. 1.0 brings uh, several unique updates to the uh, 7 Days to Die franchise, like a... Um, Forty-four ninety-nine price tag, and all right. You know what? That's really the only thing that was updated was the price. But but this also it says this title is pre-release software still on the title screen when you launch it. It's there for emotional support. Now people are too used to seeing it. If you took it away, they would get upset. Um, but yeah, the 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 mainstays of forever early access are dropping. I guess like Star Citizen, despite being like a money laundering scheme, is the only one that's left. I don't know. This has been in early access so long. It is a cross-generational game. People bought this on the X-Bone and PS4. And now, because you don't, because you have to buy games per console, you got to buy this shit again on the PS5 and the Series S slash X. But they are offering you a 25% discount if you show that you have bought the original Seven Days to Die on the X-Bone and PS4. How do we feel about that? Because I read that and I'm like, nah, homie. You that, need yeah, to no. give me a ticket. Upgrade, com- yeah. 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 What do you think, Pedro? <laughs> you like coupons? I, yeah, no, I'm looking at that trailer. It's like, wow, that's 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 impressive considering how long this has been in early access, and that still looks janky as fuck. It, well, it yeah. looks uh, disconnected. There's no, yeah. Um, yeah, like some of it looks all right, but then other parts, I'm like, I remember playing that. Well, I, I guess it really you can really see like when a specific aspect of the game was developed. Dude, you can, based on you, how no, good dude, it looks. dude you, you can actually see ass, just ass, how yeah. jerky the trailer got at a couple of uh, <laughs> it, oh, yeah. it looks genuinely jank, but I think that's part of the appeal for the people that genuinely like it. I think you're if you take hired, away the jankiness. Jenkins, you're hired, yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll well, spend that. I, they're I think probably if you using the, the jank away, people would probably Start paying more attention to the other things. I don't know, man. Like, and listen, um, we're we're just a bunch of dumb hoes because at the end of the day, there's still this thing averages like twenty two thousand daily players. Yes, yeah, it don't matter what we say. Minecraft. I like say it. good on them. They want to push it out the door, and they got like a twenty k bump on release. Which I don't know if that was necessarily new sales. Probably more than likely, people like me, Pedro or Jordan, who somehow have the game or spent like because this game goes on sale. Up until recently, like every other week for like three bucks or six bucks or something like that. And you just pick it up. Why not? And, uh, you know, they're just popping in to check it. But yeah, it's maintained like this. This has got a survivable community and it has somehow maintained that. So I'm going to say good on the fun pimps for maintaining Um, that. Unless you are in Japan, Taiwan or West Korea. Mm. No zombies free. (laughs) It's always weird when you see stuff like that. You're like, but you let this in, you know, throw another title, right? And you're like, yeah. Strange place to so draw the line. Which right? company did they piss off for oh, those no. particular markets <laughs> that they just went, oh, really? Then you don't get to sell a game here. <laughs> uh, I would be curious to like go back and re- revisit it. Uh, one, one thing I have a good memory of this game because it was one of the early games when Proton first launched it, launched because they've had a native Linux client for seven days to die since forever. Mm-hmm. And it's just always never ran very well. But when Proton first launched, I tried it and I was like, holy hell, this looks like a 10x better game uh, mm-hmm. running under DirectX than it did with their uh, open. Oh, by the way, they, they've not fixed the Vulcan Hunter in the game yet either. <laughs> so 1.0. 1.0. Yeah. Yeah. $20 price bump. 0. 0. Up next. Yeah. Murder Legos. Yar. 
Yeah, Besieged. It's a game that we tried to play the multiplayer of, but it's not really great to stream because we end up just like, hold on, give me five more minutes. I got to build this thing right. Um, but it's still really good fun. It's a fun physics murder simulator. They added waters and ship recently, and they now have added five new water levels for you to murder Legos your way through. The sharks are now harder to kill. There's a bunch of other gameplay balances and fixing. They also did already have to release a hotfix because there were a couple things that were broken, but they are still chugging, rowing, screwing along, being, keeping updates on this game. And it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, if you have several weeks of nothing to do, this is a game for you. Desert Island game. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Dude. And like, I was reading through the, uh, like, what's been updated. Oh, the sharks now have swimming effects. And I'm like, right. So it's like, uh, Steve <laughs> Buscemi after some ketamine, right? <laughs> I kind of hope they're like the sharks from uh, from Stumble uh, from not sorry, oh from, the floppy uh, ones from yeah Gang Beasts uh, yeah. Gang Beasts that shit was hilarious where dude. he just like smacks the dude on the head before running off that uh, shit killed me <laughs> the the perfect shark noise like when you're underwater and you're getting you're dealing with the sharks are gonna they, all the sharks need to do is one thing they need to just go Psst. <laughs> <laughs> that will fuck you up right. Quit go oh, no sharks run uh i still want them to completely blow the scope of what they've planned here and give me a persistent online world the siege mmo <laughs> yes yeah. so we can like give us like a rust world where we can like set up our own little besieged server and have like our own little camps to where during the week we can build up our mecha Cthulhu, whatever, Mur just, Kraken. Just, just make Murder Cube even larger and larger. <laughs> right, and, and on Saturday nights, be like, now we're going to throw it out. Let's go. Oh, dude, like Battle Bots? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, you know, have, have our world, so, you know, uh, Sabotage is not completely out of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have some mild PVE content. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, just, 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 just turn it straight up into Listen, fucking Starcraft. I, dude, I know you saw my character over there on Thursday. I was, I was, I was just looking, dude. I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> that Pretty me good. Of my, reminds me of my favorite thing to do back in Battlefield 1942, which was like sneak to the enemy camp and just stick bombs on the bottoms of their planes and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, if you guys are, get bored and you need to turn that money spigot back on, like, yeah, let, it, let well, like we'll host the servers ourselves. Like, it can be self-hosted. Like, if it give us a persistent world that we can set up, like, a la Rust or... Uh, oh, you know, just give us a standalone dedicated server, dude. Cause, that's like, what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. The MMO that will not die. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, Shroud of the Avatar, Unforsaken Virtues, or, uh, whatever the, <laughs> no, it's just Forsaken Virtues. It sounds um, like a book with a naughty ass cover on it. <laughs> it it's, it's Richard Gary. That's, that's what you get. Uh, but yeah, it is, uh, it was supposed to be, uh, once long ago, like the modern iteration of Ultima and it flopped miserably. Um, and, uh, I was surprised to see that I had almost 100 hours in Trout of the Avatar. And they released a new update. It's like, oh, okay. So there's, uh, like, specific stuff happening in specific cities. They've been fixing bugs. They're doing sales and bonus events. And uh, they've upgraded the uh, real money store because that's the important bit. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, they have a streaming program for people who are actively streaming the game. Who? Um, but uh, that got me thinking, it's like, okay, uh, I put some hours into this, let's see how many people are actually playing this, because it's an MMO, and if it's still going, there's bound to be someone playing it. 32 people on Friday, uh, on Steam when I checked, with an average, uh, <laughs> of the, over the last month of 27. How so... dare you besmirch them, I will have you know the all-time peak, eight years ago, Pedro, this game was swimming in 624 players. I expected about 100, 200 people-ish. <laughs> uh, I know that it's not, the game isn't just available on Steam, it's available in other places, so there's bound to be people playing it outside of Steam that are not being counted there. But it is... Pedro, the problem with this game is people probably just can't eat the upfront cost. It's, <laughs> it's free, though. <laughs> oh, right, it is, isn't it? <laughs> It might be a bit free to play. 
Once upon a time, it wasn't back when it was. Yeah, no, it it wasn't. uh, I was one of the people who uh, paid for the game, so technically, I have premium status. Well, it it was it was supposed to be like the big spiritual successor to like Ultima Online and like the Mm -hmm. entire Ultima series. Um, And yeah, I guess. I, again, I was talking about this in the pre super shows, and but it always seemed like an overly ambitious project that never seemed like it would be realistically able to deliver what it was promising at the scale that it was promising, given the resources they had. So, yeah, I will tell you, um, I wasn't joking around. Pedro talked about it. I'm like, yeah, it's, oh, it's free. I got it. Whatever. I downloaded it before the show, like loaded it up. I'm like, wow, this runs like ass on a 3060 with those red rubber at 1080p on medium. I'm like, <laughs> impressive. However, I will say this, dude, just like the onboarding, because it like launched up and I'm like, hey, do you want to connect with your Steam account? And I'm like, that's the only way this is happening. So yes. Uh, and apparently at some point I'd gotten that far to right at the beginning. I immediately bounced off like the intro clonky talky head and like the dialogue says like none of this. Maybe it was explained, but I didn't remember any of it. I'm like, I was like, go outside and find a portal and shit. I'm like, just, yeah, what? I, it's an MMO. <laughs> Get me immediately into the world. That's what I'm there for. But I need 20 boars asses. <laughs> yeah, no, MMOs are really, really scared of letting people out into the world before they've explained what I heard fucking everything. <laughs> I, I'm, no. You gotta tell people, don't show them. Yes. You're going to sit yes, there, tell unable to move your character. Yes, dialogue with, like, dialogue choices and the big head. I'm like, I don't fucking, let's just let, let, let me go uh, hug people. <laughs> I just, yeah. I don't know. Hug Quest 2024. You know, 50, 60 people, they got a streaming. Listen, if you're looking for your niche, dude, go hop on that. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go take a look at that. Is, do you, how many people do you think are streaming? Have ever? Ever. There's bound to be like two channels at least. So right. for them I'm to gonna, have I'm a gonna, streaming I'm gonna say, program, I'm gonna there's going to be two. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, 16 oh. viewers, dude. Oh, three. 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 Three? Three, all right. Yes, one, closest what? without going over. Woo-hoo. One with sexual. Okay, one has one viewer. The sexual themes with four and let's see. Ah, uh, this- they're doing erotic role play. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it says fishing contest, so I guess that's like code for something. <laughs> Relaxing shark mode mining. If you're looking for your niche, man, that's ripe for disruption, right there. You and five of your friends can quadruple the player base. Yes. <laughs> Go. Try it out. Uh, probably want to try it out on Proton, to be honest with you, though, because it- no, yeah. If, if, if the game runs uh, in Proton for you, use that. It, it looks better and it runs better. <laughs> Let's get into a little bit of news. Last week we talked about Linux going open source, embracing that lifestyle, bending the knee. It took me forever to like get that uh, tattoo lined. Up. That's he's really got that tattoo, by the way, for the thumbnail. Did you see that? Mm. That's a real Jensen Nvidia logo tattoo. Really? Yes, that was not Vin Shopped. That's Pe- hilarious. We're watching Pedro <laughs> ponder this. <laughs> did you, did you, did you, did you okay, think, no, you're the CEO of uh, a company that's now actually playing with the big, big boys. I mean, yes. Do you think Tim Sweeney has an Epic Games tramp stamp? Uh, no. Have you seen Tim Sweeney? <laughs> yeah, he strikes me as the guy who might have a secret tramp stamp. I can DM him and find out. I have a DM thread with Tim Sweeney, and I'm not making or exaggerating, dude. I know you do. What was that? Mm. That was going to materialize into something, and it yeah, never it, did. We were. I was working on some last message I had of, from him, and his, he was on a private jet doing something. And, was, yeah, you got to be like, well, swing by and pick me up, man. We'll talk. Yeah, that's just whatever we were trying to accomplish. I remember. I, I do have. I was like, I ain't got time for this bullshit. Uh, Nvidia. Going open source, that's great. We finished the show 20 seconds after that. They're like, Kanichiwa bitches, here's the fucking drivers to go play with. 560, 2803, beta. Couple of new things in this. Yes, yes, yes. By default, you get that open GPU kernel module that on, ready to go. Some bonus bits of EGL goodness for your ex-Whalen. They've added a pipe wire back into the NVFBC, which is the thing I talk about that it's going to allow you to access that hardware in your consumer grade card that you should be able to, because since it's already there with a patch driver, uh, a Vulcan button. We didn't lose our CRTs, but we got a Vulcan button. That's right. In the controller panel, you can go to the Vulcan tab and it tells you all your Vulcan information. 
Okay. Oh, and it, it's just like a uh, yeah. You know, you got like the open GL, EGL, uh, all, all that stuff. Now VK it's, info. It just shows you VK info. Yes, kind of <laughs> like that. It's a Vulcan button. Let a man dream. You fucking buskill. <laughs> um, people are having issues with five sixty over on the Nvidia forums. They're like, it's not working. It's exploding. Proton doesn't work. And everything's on fire and, uh, and I'm like oh y'all bitches running away late ain't you like yes man we are shut up you're gonna talk and I'll say yes I am ha 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 laughs and Debian 12 x 11 get wrecked nerds how dare we be upset that that thing that's supposed to work with our drivers is not working oh, oh I don't give a shit if you how dare you think that, that was actually <laughs> gonna work with your fucking um wow. No, if they're if they're gonna say it, then you know they have they have they have a right they, to be they refuted. They did say, yeah. Oh, that Jordan, they now supported they, they fucking say it right here, uh, right? Fucking, let me zoom in for you, right there under B E T A. Yeah, nah, nice and no, clear. No, 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 no one pays attention. They to put it software. in red for fuck's sake. Listen, seven days to die, one point still pre-release software. There is no excuse. If you are experiencing problems, I thought it was kind of wild. Uh, Arch and um, Gentoo users seem to make up the bulk, so there's apparently an issue with that. Didn't hear a lot from um, the Fedora team or uh, over here on Debian, even if you're running well on Debian. I don't know. Um, I've been running them all week. I did, you know, I went through all the games I normally play. I would say I noticed a little bit of a performance regression, but I can't really tell sometimes with uh, the Darksiders 3 that I'm playing through, but like we're talking like 2-3 FPS, so... You know, not enough to make it like jerky. I was like, that number used to be fractionally higher on average. And uh, that's what my 3060. So, yeah, uh, good. That's awesome. Yeah, just uh, yeah, throw away your AMD cards. Go buy an NVIDIA card. <laughs> e waste. <laughs> Burn them. Use yeah. them for fuel. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use them for in my smoker, and I'm gonna make some AMD GPU sticks. Dude, did you yeah, see? Yeah, the, put um, them in the oven. <laughs> What is the 70? What, what is the high end uh, AMD card right now? 7900 XTX. Yes. Uh, that was uh, somebody, I think. Is it Asus or uh, they released uh, a completely fanless version of that for like the server uh, cooling? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just got that big chunky heat sink on it. And I know people are going to buy those and melt them. <laughs> <laughs> that is some wishful thinking right there yeah dude i wish i could find one right now uh, uh I had one. look at that <laughs> well i mean i mean it's it's the one that i have with that three fans look attached to it mm -hmm. yeah shut up and just look at that oh boy that uh that yeah it's just a big block of aluminium with uh ventilation running through it you know if you're familiar with uh quadros that don't have fans attached to them people are gonna burn the fuck up out of these they're like oh you're a silent gaming why is it running at four megahertz i don't know <laughs> That thing's going to throttle like an N100 with that heat sink, Pedro. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, there, I know Wendell from uh, Level 1 Techs, uh, he, uh, their shop, they have the like the housing that you can mount blower fans into. And yeah, then you, clip you've them been able to 3D print those, print those things for a decade, parts, dude. Yeah. yeah, you just <laughs> clip them on the fucking back and like whoo, wheeze air Which, through it. That, that will at least get you like 100 megahertz. <laughs> They can, work really can, well, but what you got to worry about is like, why am I using four times the power for a quarter of the performance of a consumer grade um, 30 series or 20 series GP? Yeah. The, the, they're, the, they're not gaming cards. No. The, they're not anything. They're home labbing shit. There's something you stick together and you put in the fucking rack and look at. That's what you fucking do with them. Like, can they don't you have use any it to, No. Can you use it to no. check game latency? Uh uh. <laughs> not at all. No, no. You need AMD cards for that. We're talking about NVIDIA. Oh, but that was still on the uh, on the fan list. Seventy nine hundred. No. Uh, good news, <laughs> this everybody. Merch, baby. Ah, yes, the Olympics, home of such sports as the snatch, the clean and jerk, <laughs> the hammer throw, and now League of Legends? Question mark. Yeah. So, uh, Saudi Arabia is now going to be uh, the first host of an Olympic Games that includes an esports tournament. This is the latest news coming out of there. Uh, slightly before the live Gojira, quote unquote, live Gojira performance, which I am still a fan of. Yeah, good, good, good on you, friends. Um, but yes, they're going to be adding esports competitions to uh, the Olympics the next time around. Back in or in in twenty twenty five, thousands thousands of years ago in the future, they're looking at games like Rocket League, Street Fighter, Tekken, legal uh, League of Legends. Uh, I was going to say like, yeah. So finally, the Olympic level salt present in League of Legends can finally <laughs> be shown on. 
the Olympic stage. Also, I want to know what's what's the time to like the Icarus documentary, but for for gaming. But looking looking at some of the games, uh, you you might notice that uh, shooters are uh, conspicuously absent. That got me thinking though, because like the Olympic Games have like a lot of non-standard rules for some of their sports. The one that comes to mind for me is bench press, where you have to like come up with both arms simultaneously. You can't like do an uneven press. So why ha why not have a specific Olympic Games? You need to have the janky Olympic FPS that has just the red team and the blue team, and that's all that you're allowed to compete in. And it's like. Yeah, I I don't know why they're going with like existing games, but yeah. I mean, I, I get a lot of the stuff. Yeah, you know, which is it? Now the list I put in the show notes that you got there, that was just me kind of spitballing. I there 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 were a couple. I think I think League there's of been Legends no official like announcement. In... I researched it. Okay, fair enough. There were other people just like spitballing. Like these are games that could probably show up. Mm -hmm. There was that one article, and uh, yeah, no FPS games. I'm like, come on, man. You know, okay. To what Jordan's saying, we don't need to recreate games though. We got track and field on the NES. The original NES track and field. And you got to play that shit with a power pad and you can't use your hands. Oh, no, we, no we, we, we need Olympic DDR, man. Like, just we, we, look at all the sports games that the Wii had. <laughs> probably just have that. Here's what I want to know, man. Because, like, <laughs> I, I don't... I'm probably like a bunch of y'all. Like, I don't give a fuck about the Olympics. Like, whatever. I, I, I want Olympic speedrunning. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might get my attention. You know, because, you know, immediately, I think everybody in our age group... We were just immediately just like too fucking jealous. Like, fuck you kids with your, but where was this show? We was growing up. We could have been training. Could have like, you'll never get yeah. anywhere playing video games. And like true, but not in the next 10 years, but after that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, this does come to an interesting thing. I'm like, all right, I don't pay attention to the Olympics, but what are the age requirements for the Olympics? Like, am I old ass compete? There's no specific requirement. To compete at the games now individual sports traditionally have age requirements depending on what they are you know depending on like you know if it's like distance running swimming gymnastics and things like that but there's no like hard rule so my question is should they set a min minimum age or is this just going to be completely fucking dominated for the till from now until the end of time by 12 year olds doped up 12 year olds who are on like the latest <laughs> fucking neurotropic <laughs> drugs to like Increase the reaction time. Add her yeah. all dub to exactly. No one now we got to bring in like properly. <laughs> right Ritalin and shit like that. Like yeah. before, how do you? You're gonna have to start screening for it. And we're like, nope, yeah, can't yeah, use you, it. You, you got to drug test these kids. Wada has a hard enough time with the existing mm -hmm. sports already with all the corruption they have. Can you imagine esports? <laughs> My God, people are just like fucking doing rails of cocaine <laughs> before like going into street <laughs> Olympic Street Fighter and shit, right? Like. Uh, some of the games would be interesting though. I, I could definitely see everybody sitting like, I tried to think like the three of us, you know, like what would we sit and fucking watch? I'm like, probably Rocket League. We'd probably fucking watch that. Maybe Tekken or like a fighting game. That is like, what about StarCraft? And I'm like, so you're not going to let Korea <laughs> compete, right? <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're just going to give Korea the medal each right, every like, time. Well, what, what's the fucking point? So no, we can't do StarCraft. Um, Command and Conquer? Something or like, then like, I think about accessibility with like Olympic games. Does it, should the game be available on console, PC, and mobile to give everybody a fair shake at it? Well, there's a big question there because you know you want to make sure that everyone is competing on the level playing field. So, mm -hmm. is this the Olympics sponsored by Xbox this year and PlayStation the next year? And well, depend. Uh, one of the reasons I'm not getting like too into the weeds of like what games are going to be showing up because there are. Two competing dump trucks immediately out of my head that are already backing into the IOC, which has never had a problem with bribes. Um, <laughs> no, no, not beep, whatsoever. Beep, beep. <laughs> One's being driven by a EA, and the other one is Epic. Pull it up. Going. Um. Hi. I here, think Microsoft. Here looking... My Microsoft might be wheeling up their dump truck too. They might, but they won't be as uh, overt about it, <laughs> right? <laughs> But yeah, no, it, it, as someone who enjoys playing video games, the whole esports thing, I'm going, uh, you don't like esports. Yeah, we know. I don't like watching esports. No, you don't like participating <laughs> in them either. Cause I ain't never seen I, you do I, that. I, I'm looking forward to what is going to the fucking conflagration that is going to be like, this is the first Olympic mobile game that's announced. And people are just going to lose their mind about Olympic Farmville or some shit. <laughs> yeah, no, the, like the, the whole concept of just, just 
getting video games into the Olympics. Yeah. That should be a good thing. That should always be a positive. It's just uh, how well, bad is the money going to fuck well, it up? Well, <laughs> theoretically, and, and <laughs> until you realize the Olympics isn't necessarily a net positive either, question mark, so... Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, just, I'm glad that we got video games in the fucking Olympics, <laughs> and, like, that's the extent of my involvement, because I don't fucking watch the Olympics. Is this going to make me... Like, they've been desperate to try to get people to watch. They added skateboarding, for fuck's yeah. sake. They added Gojira. <laughs> <laughs> they're like somebody watched this like i remember growing up olympics were like oh this is a big thing you need to watch it i'm like still don't fucking care even as a kid i'm like don't care yeah. and here i am but i like an avenue for that because even you know i was doing the sports i was very athletic when i was growing up and but i never had like that like the craziness to like get that drive or even have that in the field of vision but that might have been an opportunity i'm like hmm, maybe i want to grind on track and field for the NES because we got to practice that. Maybe I can get on the Olympic uh, eSports team and like whatever. Like I like that option being there for the kids. I think Olympic, that, o- Olympic level secret of the magic crystals. Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ponies. Ponies, dude. Ponies. <laughs> Speaking of ponies, let's talk about Reddit. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> We had some news, man. I touched on it on Weekly Daily Wednesdays, man, on Wednesday. Uh, like, it's like right when the show was starting. This, uh, like, the news broke. We've all used Reddit before, right? Strider doesn't. He He's very upset when people Big use Reddit. Reddit. That yes. motherfucker's <laughs> probably on Reddit first thing in the morning, dude. He's pr- probably pays for the fucking app. You know, like, just so he could be mad about it. You know, like, Bleh. we need to talk about this. Because how often do you end up on Reddit? A lot. You do a search, Reddit's going to fucking show up. Why is that a thing? Well, it's kind of been the internet's bulletin board system for coming up on 20 years. It just fucking has. There's good. There's bad. You know, between half the shit you're searching for is going to be Reddit, what's the other half's going to be like Stack Overflow, right? Or some shit like that. Well, you can run into some problems, kids. Reddit is now blocking all major search engines except our buddy the Googs. Because that's what Google looks like now. That's the official mascot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're just is rolling. That, it, is, is that is that the photorealistic zoo? Yes. This is this is how it works, man. So is it Teletubby? <laughs> Reddit's going to be blocking Bing Bing Duck, Lycos, Hotbot, Ask Jeeves, and Yahoo, because Mr. Google Alienhead agreed a while back to a sixty million expanded partnership with exclusive access to Reddit's data bits for AI training and apparently the that's search. That's why thing. we get Elmer's glue on pizza. And um, <laughs> the good news is Duck Bingo stopped crawling Reddit when they updated the robots file at the beginning of this month. Oh, uh, Duck Bingo. You don't have to worry about any of your toxic Reddit things showing up anymore. <laughs> when you're the trying glue to, is non-toxic, fair, to be fair. <laughs> when it's Elmer's glue. It, it's supposed to be at a... Um, I got mute buttons. I can keep talking anytime I fucking want, bitch. Come on, bring it. Uh, <laughs> so... Like when you're trying to fix like a game problem, like how, how, think about that. That's why I wanted to talk about it because you, you do a search like this is broken and you'll say, oh, here's your fucking fix for whatever. You know, you don't find what you want at uh, ProtonDB. You'll find it in like Linux underscore gaming or like where the fuck ever. But that's gone from Bing and therefore it's gone from DuckDuckGo or whatever. Which, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's the relationship. At least is significant because that's like the alternative that most people use when they don't want to use Google. This like, let me try DuckDuckGo. Or you got pissed off because you you couldn't find something on Google several times in a row and you went to DuckDuckGo and it went, oh, that that's right the first result the first time. I have the opposite experience. I whenever (laughs) I look for something on DuckDuckGo, I can never fucking find it. It's like (laughs) have you ever went to Bing? No, <laughs> not being okay. proper. Uh, no. If you're a certain age, man, like you remember like 97, 97, 98 peak, and, like Yahoo and, fucking and, and search engine. Search, yeah, yeah. Hitting that page where like it was 98% not fucking search and like a little tiny little thing to search. That was Yahoo search. That, that's the flashbacks I got when I hit Bing and I tried to search because that fucking page lit up and started doing a bunch of shit I wasn't asking it to do. This one's something, that's what Google got right back. All those years ago, 
Two one buttons, page, yeah. search, boom, search results. Then what happened? We started getting ads, AdWords. You're like, oh, but those are the AdWords. Those are cool. Then what started happening? The AdWords started showing up. Then now the, it's all AdWords on the first page. Mm-hmm. And, well, it's not even AdWords anymore. It's just sponsored posts and listicles. So, and so, so someone, someone paid to have these show up whenever you search for XYZ, Quite so. easily game the system, you know, depending on how, you like, column A, column A. Yeah, I just thought everybody should be aware of that, man. A um, little bit gur. I'm gur at Reddit. I'm not gur at Google. Google's like, pfft. Google, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, Google made the offer. Reddit said yes, right? And I, I lo- Reddit clapped back. They're like, "Hey guys, listen, we're doing this for your protection, okay?" <laughs> it's it literally it's for your own good, citizen. This is for your oh, yes. This <laughs> we're not thinking about us here. The six that sixty million was to protect you because we need to be able to vet the companies that are going to data mine this stuff. <laughs> Unless, mm-hmm. of course, unless they give us enough money, you would like to give us sixty million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Then you can, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that just shows that you're committed to ethics, right? Because yes. anyone who isn't committed to ethics would not spend sixty million. I mean, if you only right? have forty nine million dollars of ethics, then no, get the fuck out of here. We yeah, don't trust no. you. You yeah, need you're, sixty million. You're, you're you're barely a human being at that point. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will say this though. Uh, I'm really not a fan of anyone having to go to a particular search engine to find a particular thing. I don't like that trend and that is like going to a very fucked up place that I'm not going to participate in. And uh, like on the 24th, I think it was Wednesday, I like slammed the brakes on like old man vent tech support and Reddit's gone. No more. I'm not. If that, because the whole point of like answering some fucking questions that I just have accumulated knowledge and like very fucking particular things over these years. He has a particular set of skills. I do. And a very unusual set. <laughs> There's no point in telling people that if they got to go to one particular fucking search engine to be able to find the fucking answer. Also, interfacinglinux.com. It's like I fucking predicted this shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> having your own website it's kind of revolutionary now in 2024 do that set up a forum go roll like you used to fuck fuck interfacing linux forums if you don't want to use that they're there though go to like linux musicians go hit linuxquestions.org these places now the the decrepit husk of them now that's kind of the problem is like a lot of these forums have just been tossed to the wayside they're filled with spam and shit like that if you're in charge of a form, I know it's a pain in the ass and it's a lot of work. Get that shit back up and running, man, because this is just the beginning here, right? Like, Actually, uh, you already mentioned uh, level one text earlier. Mm-hmm. Create an account, even if you never post anything, okay. create an account on the level one text forum, uh-huh. especially if you're into technology and adjacent stuff. There's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. So, yeah, that's... That's a good one. <laughs> do it. I mean, and listen, I got things set up on Interfacing Linux now where you don't have to do shit. Just username, password, email address, and you're immediately in. That shit's locked down. Level one text, Linux questions. Hit them up. Go play around. Let's see if we can rank, bring back BBSs because nothing. Player two has never came to challenge Reddit. Reddit killed Dig. Dig killed itself. Reddit just happened to. Reddit, Reddit, Reddit just collected vote? all of the, the, yeah, the, right. the detritus from, from Reddit, Dig. And... Reddit just kind of looked around one day and went like, how the fuck did you manage that? Huh. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, you guys come on over here. <laughs> so uh, keep that in mind. That's going to do it for the show proper, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments. Uh, are you uh, still going to actively? And I'm still going to use Reddit. Dude, that's my fucking funny picture. And that's how I keep track of the funny shit going on in the TikTok. I'm just not going to be actively <laughs> participating, adding to the knowledge base. And you know what? Fuck me. You don't have to worry about me because I know damn well I'm not alone in that reaction that I had by myself. You know, I'm not a unique fucking snowflake. A lot of people are like, well, then what the, what's the fucking point if people aren't going to be able to find the fucking answers? There you go. Hey, if you want to give us some fucking answers, head over to LinuxGameCast.com. We'll get a contact button. And at the bottom of that's an email address. Or you can leave a comment under the video and we might just get back and read it next week on this very show. Now, this first topic Jordan's going to tell us about is uh, <laughs> something we've definitely discussed, uh, probably in a pre-pre-super shows, and go check that out if you're a patron, is 
you just fall off things sometimes, you know, shows, TV programs, but especially with like online, you know, podcast of uh, creator series, you know, people you've been following for over a decade and, you know, you might go, you know, six years, a decade and, and you just think to yourself one day for no fucking reason. Right. And you're like, I wonder what the fuck ever happened to and then, and then you Google person. them. Right. And then you're <laughs> like, oh God, why, why did I Google them? <laughs> but in, uh, in, in, in this case, uh, Boaz writes in, you're still alive. I was a watch. I would watch her 10 plus years ago. Cause you know, you could be a watcher of our Steamcast from 10 years ago and just drifted away. It's great to see you guys are still casting subscribe back. Well, thanks a lot, Boaz. <laughs> the only Boaz I know of aside from you was a guy, was an Israeli guy who moved furniture. So right. maybe you're the same guy. Probably not. It's always a interesting thing. And uh, we're, if you just tuned in from like, yeah, we're, we're just older doing the same shit. Sorry to disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what's I mean, changed? This is episode six, two, three. Yep. So, oh, next week is the 12 year anniversary. 12 years. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's actually less than I thought. Nice. All right. <laughs> um, have you run across anything that you were pleasantly surprised? You're like, ah, oh, it's still going. And like you, okay, now here's the difficulty multiplier. It's still going, and you, you taste it a little bit, and you're like, oh, fuck, why did I peace out on this? This is great. I had that with Robot Chicken, of all things. Oh, all right. Yeah. Where, where, yeah. where like, I, I, I had stopped watching it, and I don't know if it's still funny, but I remember a couple of years ago, I wa- there was like, oh, there's a, there's, there's a new season of Robot Chicken out. And I watched it, I'm like, okay, this is, this is still pretty funny. I'm, all right. The grown men playing with toys is still amusing to me. I'm Right. I'm, yeah, that's kind of wild, man. Uh, definitely a podcast I used to listen to, like, probably in, like, 05, 06, when I was on the road constantly. Uh, I went back a couple of years ago, and there was only one person left. It was one of those. Have you ever run across that? It used to be, like, a big <laughs> group of people. It was, like, five or six people, and, like, oh, that was well, just that one left. So is, like, is, it, is it a ship of Theseus thing? Do they, like, replace the cast, or is it just, like, whittled no, down? No, this is the last guy? person standing. He's like, I'm just oh. doing this by myself now. <laughs> and um, and uh, it's like, all right, oh, all right, you're holding it together. It was a stand-up comedian guy. And then I listened for a couple of weeks, and I'm like, all oh, right, right. That, that, mm, mm. That, that, that was, that's why I can piece out. They were, you know, you always run across, like, some personality flaw, and you're like, nope, not compatible with that. Mm-hmm. I get it. Now, up next. Yes. <laughs> this is from user KQ something something something. And they say, the only reason I switched from NVIDIA to AMD was not because it did not work without doing something, but rather that the driver broke both Xorg and Wayland when it came to OpenGL rendering, and my screen was flickering as hell. Anyways, I just switched my main PC to AMD and still run NVIDIA on my laptop and my remote workstation with no problems. The new driver fixed them, and it also could have been just the packaging issue. NVIDIA wasn't even bad on Linux in the first place, besides my Ubuntu experience where they broke every nearly kernel update, or nearly every kernel update. Yeah, you know, you know, um, when, when people talk about like, oh, NVIDIA is such a hard time on Linux, I, I never know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, they're, like, t- they're self-reporting skill issues. I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because like... That's, j- that's j- it. That's the beginning, middle, and end of that. They're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but yeah, it's not my I, fault. I can't use a run file. I can't use my... Or I now, in this particular that instance, that sounds like them. Ubuntu fucking up. It's, 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 and it's, yeah, it's very tendency possible. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, Which they're, they're happen. <laughs> yeah. The nice thing about Linux being a distributed stop software environment is that like it's very rare that one choice will break everything. But the other the the flip side of that is that sometimes individual pieces will break with a bad update. And so yeah, you'll get a you'll get a new kernel and that'll be shit, or you'll get a new driver and that will be shit. Uh but overall you get pretty stable. I don't, I don't. There have been a couple of occasions of NVIDIA releasing a driver and then a new kernel version comes out and a bunch of distros start using that kernel version. Oh, yeah. And it takes a couple of months for the driver to get updated to support the new but kernel version. Now <laughs> That has happened. Now, but now we have open source driver modules. So that should stop because now they're being yes, built that, that, directly that in the is kernel. pretty oh, yeah. much uh, going to go away now. And... E- NVK for the most part. I just imagine NVIDIA though when like fucking <laughs> distributions do that and like what the fuck are you doing? You know that's not gonna build against that. Why did wow? How did that get packaged? <laughs> but I mean like honestly, mo- most of most of like the enterprises that give a shit about that are running like Cent or Red Hat or Rocky or whatever. And like oh yeah, kernel update. We get those once every checked notes. Most five production years. facilities, uh, 
I've made yeah. my own group of people. Uh, they're not running. Uh, there's several drivers, and one of them being the GPU driver is installed with a run file. So there's zero chance because nine times out of 13, the applications that you're running are only certified with this driver, this driver, and this driver. That's it. Yep. That is a lot of stuff as well. I don't know. Have, having recently made the made the full time daily driver switch from uh, NVIDIA to AMD, really the only the only real difference I see is the the the, the, the driver installed is a little different, and that's kind of it. Things we're, we're, we live in the moon future now, where regardless of your choice, shit will just kind of work. You yeah. plug it in, yeah. you install the required software, <laughs> and you can launch your Steam games. Proton works. Um, I, I guess the one nice thing about the Invi the AMD drivers is you do get a lot faster delivery of bug fixes because of that open channel, but but, but I mean I mean what, whatever right like you can, you can hold back old drivers and like sit on a stable driver version until you get your shit Although, gets fixed right. I can also say that from at least from my experience of when Pascal was basically brand new, uh, I reported an issue with the 1080. Uh, with the native Linux version of Neverwinter Nights from 2003, I think that it came out. Yeah. Um, and I reported it. They said, "Yeah, can you grab us a uh, couple of things?" I grabbed them, put them in the thing. Two days later, there was a new driver update. It's like, yeah, this hot fix is the issue with yep. these games. It wasn't just Neverwinter Nights. As it turns out, there were a bunch of other games. Like, Lo were and behold, too. um, registering <laughs> your complaint on the NVIDIA forum proved effective, not screeching online. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Putting it in front of the people who can actually do something about it. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. this, this is like one of the things I'm, I'm working on a guide right now for uh, some pipe wire shit with a fedora. And like the closing line of this is like, and if you have problems, report them to the issue tracker on GitHub, not a random fucking forum. Yes. Right. Like the chances <laughs> of one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> LGC cares. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We did Before it. we get out of here, though, I want to thank Nubbin and <laughs> Freezer, <laughs> not Frozer, not to be confused with Frieza. Not, not not the cooler heroes either. either. <laughs> Frazera, their friends call them. Both made it rain with five gifted subs before we went live. That's why it says X5 down there on the screen. Go cut the screen on if you don't have a screen. If it's just an MP3, I don't know what you got to do, man. You just go ahead and do it, though. We have stenography in the in the uh, in the MP3 file. So you, if you run it through like a waveform generator, and you're wondering, or okay, <laughs> man, this is two point seven gig. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some yeah. might, might, a little fish. Why was the previous episode like 90 megs and this one is two gigs? Yeah, <laughs> something might be up. I don't know. I'm just going to roll with it. But hey, if you want to help us keep rolling with it, become a patron. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Got a bunch of things. We got the pre pre super shows. And we're not just teasing that. We have a good time. That's a pre show. That's what passes for our production meeting. This week, our production meeting was heavily taco centric. Okay. Yes. You just got to deal with that. You'll get that in MP3 format. You get the live and uncut version of the show commercial free in audio. You put it in your little uh, audio MP3 player. Well, I'm going to call it an iPad odd. Yes. iPod. P A O D. iPod. iPod. I don't know. I, I paid. It's like, it's like Evergales. <laughs> but we'll get you a custom <laughs> RSS feed with your Patreon subscription. And, uh, you know, sneak peeks at shit got coming up, uh, access to the Discord. We're at the other six days of the week. That'll get you in the Trek Mania server. If you go check your shit, you might might have just been, like, sleeping in the fucking uh, Twitch chat. If you're a Twitch sub, you can now come hang out. Come taste the Discordy goodness, what we're doing. We don't do documentation there, but we just talk shit. It's a good time. We appreciate your support. Stick around for your names in the credits. And uh, that's not the uh, only person... We need to thank, uh, we need to thank, uh, who else? <laughs> Wide body uh, Mateus. Uh, one Mr. Certain, steak? Uh, yes, uh, one certain Danzing Joe for the, uh, the steak. He offered to pay for the steak, so I offered to meet him in the middle because I wasn't going to drive into London. I'm, dude, uh, <laughs> like, him getting you out of your fucking, I, like, listen, I mean, out of, like, on the shot That's and the scale, My dude. objection at this point is basically to steer wealth clear of London. And I'll probably be okay driving to you. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, Unless it takes a whole day to, to get there. That, that, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously, thank you very much, Joe. That was wonderful steak. That was I could tell you enjoyed really it, dude. You were like steak. three times the size when you were eating it. 
Yes, I, I, I got very thick. <laughs> no, 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 there, there, there was a side of like sauteed mushrooms with the steak, but they were like the Mario mushrooms, so we got bigger. <laughs> they wouldn't give, they, they wouldn't give me the kid straw. <laughs> Look, uh, Joe asked a random um, person who worked at the restaurant, it's like, can you take a picture of us? And the person took picture with Joe, you know, dab in the middle of the, uh, the frame. And I was sure. right at the edge, so that fish. The only thing I that affect, fucking matters it, is the first words out of your mouth was like, "That's my son." <laughs> Be like, "Thanks, Daddy." <laughs> yeah, but you, you got to do like the the Bobby Hill slash Ocean Dub Gohan voice. Oh no! Then you're like, "Dad, can we get ice cream after this?" <laughs> just, just Daddy, fucking... I want to see. I mommy do remember again. there was a bit of a, a discussion about whether or not to get um, desserts. But yeah. I chose just to have coffee, and then Joe, I think, felt a little bad. It's like, I'll have just some coffee, too. Oh. <laughs> you, gotta, right. you gotta let him fatten you up a little bit. Just, th- that's Ladies and gentlemen, on that diabetes bombshell, we gotta cue the music and get the fuck up the, out the of here. The dia bombshell. Dia bombshell of Edis. You can always find us right here on Twitch. 8 p.m. It's on the schedule. Come say hi during a live show. We'd love to see you. We do a little pre-show, you know. Then we do a show show. We're about to get into a little bit of a post-show. You want to get in touch with me. At Vin Stone on X. At Vin on uh, mast.lytixgamecast.com. Federated intro thingy. And I'm in the forums if you get any questions over on interfacinglinux.com. I'm your favorite high-quality slab of beef. You can follow me on Twitter at the Burning Fool, on Mastodon at frojo.mast.linuxgamecast.com, or on Blue Sky at frojo.bsky.app. And I'm the sirloin cut that no one really enjoys, but uh, they'll slap a price tag on. You can find me on Mastodon at mast.linuxgamecast.com. It's an account at four with the actual number four. So, yeah, follow me there. <laughs> Moo. Moo to you. <laughs> may, may your Marklar, Marklar, Marklar. <laughs> Time for some Mark Lore. Mm. (laughs) Well, it's time. Gotta thank our advisors, Omega Sartheran, our executive producers, Barbara Scott, Atomic Ass, Mike, Tomaj, David, Ishep, Ian Kurducki, 12345, Hoplo, Drummer, and our little Nikki fans. We got Super Destoed, Empty, Glorious Eggy, and Turbo underscore Tree Sloth, who has a. And the Sea Monsters Renault Rider X, Mac and a Trudgy, Veritanuta, Just in Darkwing, System T, Danzing Joe, thank you for the stake. The Kresny. Oh, you won! Frostclaw in the Death Notes, Nova Chat, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jewel, Benjamin, You're gonna make Dindu, me redo the fucking Steven, credits next Mac, week, goddammit. Zeno, Mars, um, no, it's gotta say DS and Joe, thank Ruth you for the steak. Ruth is comma. fine. <laughs> and just, and just, just cotton, replace it with steak. Just the steak emoji. Just steak. Find it up standing cannibals. Carl, and Mike, Arthur, Theron, Linux, Nero, all of this, Noculus, Johnny, <laughs> Shep, Game of Tron, you know, DS and Joe, Aromatic, Dev, and Kaito, all right, thank you. Yeah, we got Amazon wish list. You want to pick up some? Send us a piece of paper. We'll fucking read it. Probably. Yeah. Send me some probably. <laughs> Until next week. Um, go for gold. Or myrrh. Right. I'm, I'm gonna aim for frankincense. Incense. Yeah. <laughs> Dynafire. See you next week. Doodles. Five dudes.